So after a dramatic Armoral Power Stage yesterday and of course the rally show in the centre of Coffs Harbour where all the locals and rally fans got to meet the world's best WRC drivers and of course our own East Coast Bull Bars Australian Championship teams. Now today, leg one, we get down to business. We've got just under 100 kilometres to compete and we've made our way out into the forest to the end of the very first special stage. Just over 10 k's. Very good chance for us to speak to the teams and see how their rally has started. We were going particularly fast. I don't think I just got a bad bounce. Usual story, so... Is that, was it a bit like what we saw in the power stage, like a, a bump like that and just nosed itself and then obviously it nearly speared you into the trees and tipped it over? Yep, and it was a corner right on it, right after it, and it was a really narrow little bit of road and, and, and we landed in, in the dip, so it wasn't really good, but I think the car's still handling all right. I think it was like a hug five left over crest and we were off the road, lucky there was an escape road and we sort of hit up two wheels, stop, reverse, back up, like almost went over, so. Was that just towards the end of this stage? Yeah, like five corners that way. Yeah. I reckon that Mads Osberg's done the same, mate, so it must be a little corner for the Citroens, possibly. Yeah, maybe, maybe, but uh, we got out of it, luckily, so touch wood. I was looking forward to the stage, but it was one of those things as I think we went a bit too hard over some of the humps and we landed on our nose there a couple of times, but uh, it's all good. It's all good. Time looks good, mate, and obviously the car feels strong, which is important for you guys, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm really happy with the car. I'm just maybe going a bit too hard into the corners and uh, just a little bit too late in braking. No surprises, obviously a really nice road on the recce, but uh, you've got 20 big tractors in front of you. Uh, man, they, uh, they take some interesting lines and pull some interesting stuff out on the road, but uh, overall pretty good. We had a bit, of a bit of a heavy landing over one of the big humps in there at the start, but uh, you know, I think that'll be pretty good. Brando, very tricky opening stage is the comment from everyone, but mate, looks like you've done a very good time in there. It's quicker so far for our ARC guys. Oh, that's good because, yeah, it didn't feel great. There's quite a bit of understeer. We're locking fronts. We've got new Winmax brake pads, and we haven't got the chance to do a long stage yet, so I was dialing more rear in as we went, trying to counteract from the understeer. Uh, but a really good feeling in the car. Probably changing gears a little bit too early, trying to limitate the wheel spin, but we'll crack on and see how we go. So you're basically adjusting the brake bias mid-stage? Yeah, absolutely. It's right here. You can see on my right-hand side, so it's quite easy to change. It's in driver's reach. Um, so as we got more kilometres in, I was just adjusting that along the way. Hard to do that, opening stage, the nerves are going, the pace knows, driving flat out, that's difficult to do. Yeah, I just had a lot of fun, there's heaps of jumps there and it was great. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. Thanks mate.